you know, stand, you know, when you're doing it, if you're doing it on a client or if you're doing it on yourself, whatever you're doing, just make sure to look at all angles here. You know, we want it to look soft. We want to start to creating, you know, create something with some interest in it, but we're just trying to make it smoother on the hairline. Now, you can do whatever you want now. You could do curls. I'm going to do a twist because I'm doing something easy for y'all, you folks at home. I'm going to take from the outside of the hair, <laughs> you folks, that's my country coming out. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to take right from underneath the, twi the, the sides here and we're going to go from the, each side. Now, the smaller twist that you do, okay, the more detail you're going to have on it. Okay, and see we're just twisting the hair. And we're going to spin it around this little ponytail that we've created, right? And then we're going to pin it in place. And we're going to do this back and forth, back and forth. And then the ends, I'll show you what to do with those at the end. Again, just taking that twist, pinning it right to our base right through there. And it, like I said, if you've got hair that's a little bit finer, you know, a couple different pins will work just fine. Now, if you have curly hair, you may not need to do this as much. You could always just do the top and pin the curls the way you want them, whatever you want to do. Oh, what I was saying, the smaller the twist, the more detail you're going to have. The bigger the twist the more um, it's going to look kind of like a, you know, like a, a twist. So we're trying to create something kind of in the middle so you can see both. Grab the tail, twist again, put a little bit of hairspray on it. Twists are easy. I like to do twists when I do these um, and, and show people how to do it because sometimes people curling their own hair can be hard, but twisting is such a simple thing to do. And if it's a little messy, it's okay. You're just trying to create something that has, you know, some fun kind of interest to it, like I said. Now, same thing, just going in, putting your pin in horizontally. Um, grab in. Putting it in right at that base, horizontally, right there. And done. This tail right here will stick out. Don't worry about it. We'll grab it in a minute. We'll get it sorted out. I'll show you what to do with it. Okay? Put one more pin in here. Again, just getting it at that base. Now, take your next section. Again, just a small twist. Kind of smooth it out with some hairspray. Get all the way to the bottom. Now, you can also do like a curl if you want to do something fun here. Now we're getting to the fun part. So you could curl it, you could keep going down around, you could start just pinning it here if you wanted to. Pin it wherever you want to pin it. You just have some fun with it. At this point, it's you being creative and doing what you want to do. I typically will go from side to side. I just like the way it looks. And uh, it stays really well, so we're just going to keep going side to side here. And again, going in, pinning, we've created that pin cushion. So grab from underneath, pin it in, right? All that stuff, like I said, we'll deal with in a minute. We don't have to worry about it right now. We're gonna take another one. If you wanna make it really, really fun, what you could do is, uh, you know, tuck that in there right there. I'm gonna get rid of it now. If you wanna have a lot of fun, you could even braid some of this. You could do some twists, some braids, some curls to make it fun. 